Hello beautiful people, my name is Frida and today I will want to show you my 2020 makeup favorites. I have a long list of makeup and hair and skincare and body care and book, food, music and fashion favorites so this is probably going to be somewhat of a series I'm going to try to make these videos as short as I can but I'm known to talk way too much when it comes to these things because I really want to give you all the details so you can make really thoughtful purchases and without anything more to say if you wanna know what were my yearly favorites just keep on watching yeah so let's just start because otherwise this will never end so first i want to talk about base foundations and all of that so honestly i have a few favorites i think one of the things that i tried the most were base makeup things although i was not wearing makeup on a regular basis I did try quite a few things and the thing is that at the beginning of the year like by the end of 2019 and the beginning of 2020 I normally get to be a little bit you know more spending this has happened you know several times by now and I always try a lot of new things by the beginning of the year so although I didn't use and buy as much makeup like by the end of the year at the beginning I did try and buy a lot of things and a lot of them you know end up being favorites of the year they were really good so hopefully this can be helpful to you makeup prep wise I have really like the straw cream um, and I have mine in beach light I personally don't have a lot of pink on my skin and I um, have quite of a dull complexion even though I use a lot of different you know really potent you know serums and all of that like niacinamide, vitamin C, retinols and you know the list is long it's just the way my skin is I'm a really pale olive skin tone so I'm not fair per se but I'm pale so I can tan easily although I choose not to because you know sun damage and skin cancer and just honestly speaking I'm not used to sun, you know getting that much sun um, and because of that I can look really pale and I don't look pink ever so I thought you know um, this might look weird but actually it makes me look a little bit less sick um, so yeah I really have been liking this and I use it almost every single day under my sunscreen which is the makeup prem and I'm going to talk about in depth about you know my sunscreens and my creams in the skincare part but just right now I wanted to mention this because this looks really good under makeup too and actually the ingredients of the MAC Straw Cream are quite good. The only thing that I don't like about the ingredient list is that it has fragrance. And although fragrance is not the devil, um, it can be the devil for some people. And for some people it can be highly irritating. Um, it will depend, of course, of where that fragrance is in the ingredient list. So how much fragrance does it have. I find that this is in the lower end so my skin doesn't get affected or irritated by this and I have a slight sensitive skin so um, maybe give it a try but that would be the only thing I would change about this because price wise and the ingredients it has a good amount of ceramides and really nice ingredients for the skin I think it's a nice cream it's not crazy like it doesn't have crazy active ingredients but overall it's just not simple you know a simple moisturizer like some other creams can be that are super expensive and they do nothing this actually has 
nice ingredients that are good for your skin so just letting you know about that and then i would say this is amazing uh i'm pretty sure it was by the end of yeah it might have been in 2019 that i got in love with this but i still to this day use this and i didn't do a 2019 favorite so might as well tell you this is the Estee Lauder double work um custom coverage correcting duo i have sensitive skin i have combination skin but long short story my skin is really prone to post inflammatory hyperpigmentation which is the you know the dark mark that um, is left behind after a, a breakout you know like after you have a little bit of acne i get that and that's you know that is really prone in people with color people the more melanin you have in your skin the more prone you are to it so i'm mexican i'm latin uh, although i'm pale i'm prone to it and this is amazing to anyone who has melasma or hyperpigmentation or has really dark under eyes i use this for all of those things i only you know have really panda eyes and sometimes hyperpigmentation but i can tell you that this works really well there was a time where it was just so so hard for me to get that concealed because you know when you have post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation when you have melasma and all these kinds of things they take a really long time for them to disappear and not only that you have to use sunscreen and it's just really hard because quite often you will use some other products even products with more pigmentation than this one and you will find that throughout the day the pigmentation will disappear because all of a sudden you will have this dark you know pigmentation in your makeup even though you can see the foundation and all of that and sometimes if you learn too much things it will get cakey and all of that it was just a mess so the best combo i would say is get this and get the estee lauder double wear um even if you have dry skin i would say just put a really moisturizing sunscreen or cream underneath and of course you have to use sunscreen so you know there is no point of you concealing all of this if you're not using sunscreen so please use sunscreen and then put this on top um i like this foundation so much that i got one for my mother and i personally have two colors i have two colors just because you know depending on how you know pale i get in the winter how tan i get in summer so you know i really 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 like this and other thing too is that this foundation i know that you know sometimes you might think well it's double wear it's too much pigmentation i don't need that much and i will agree with you that for a long time i never tried this one because you always want well if you watch makeup videos you will know that this is a classic and i will tell you give it a try for sure i mean i was blown away this is probably my favorite foundation when i have normal to oily skin uh, when I have really dry skin, not so much, but still favorite because it doesn't overemphasize dryness and if I prep my skin, it's just fine and it's one of those foundations that you can mix with tons of other things you can add some oil to this, you can mix some other foundations and it will work fantastically because it's just one of those formulas that really bulks really well and why is so amazing this is that this doesn't transfer whatsoever so people who want to wear makeup under their mask you can do that with this and you don't have to use tons of powder um, depending on your skin type you might not even need to powder you know so uh, big 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 love for this i am just blown away of how fantastic this is and honestly i am looking forward to trying more things from the estee Lauder line and yeah tons and tons of love 
Then I have two other high-end foundations and two, two drugstore foundations. So these NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I really like this and you might like this better than the Estee Lauder one if you have more normal to dry skin. This is really nice. It gives a radiant look as it's not as long wearing as the double wear under a mask. It won't have transfer or little to non transfer if you are in a climate that is uh, in the cold side. Um, yeah, but if you have oily skin if, and if you live in a super humid climate, this might transfer a tiny bit. So keep that in mind. It's really pretty though. Um, and next is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD stick. And I have to say that, oh god, I'm in love with this. If you have dry skin, you will love this. Normal to dry. If you have oily skin, I think you might get shiny way too fast. I mean, probably you can do baking and use primers and all of that, but I don't know. It will depend. Um, this is the first stick foundation that I like. I have tried so many other ones I and I have not liked them. But honestly speaking, Makeup Forever is one of those brands where whatever I have tried, I have liked. Um, so no wonders I love this. It's super, super, super nice. And the thing is too that when you use creams and liquids and when you use and know how to melt these things into your skin, um, they look like nothing. And I'm really picky with textures, so I can tell you that they look like skin, they look like so pretty. All of the different um, foundations that I have mentioned, they look super, super, super good. Saying that though, all of those ones are good, but they are quite expensive. So I have other options for you, which are honestly just as good. Um, well, it will depend. I would say that drugstore foundations have come a really long way. Um, I have tried high-end foundations, which I haven't liked nearly as much as these drugstore ones. The first one I have to say is the L'Oreal Infallible 24-Hour Brush Wear. And I have two colors because that's how much I like this. I have, you know, a lighter tone and a darker tone just so I can mix. And sometimes I use this to highlight and do more of a contouring kind of a deal um, in a more natural kind of a sense. So I don't look that flat. Um, and I just really, really like this. I think if you have normal to a little bit dry skin you might really really like this if you have oily skin this might be too luminous for your skin but this is something along the lines of it's just like the acid water with less coverage um a little bit better for people with drier skin not too dry but a little bit better for normal to dry and doesn't emphasize anything, it's really long wearing and it doesn't transfer unless you have oily skin and it's just really amazing. I would say that totally give this one a try. I think they're fantastic, they're really good foundations, they're super cheap um, for you know the quality because I have combination skin sometimes my skin is really prone to getting dry or more oily depending on the weather it's just you know and I love makeup that's why I have so many different foundations but if you are on a budget totally give this a try if you have normal to a little bit dry skin if you have normal to a little bit oily skin I would say maybe this one is better 
but honestly speaking uh, this is not like it's matte or anything this is a Maybelline Dream Urban Cover this is full coverage protective makeup with sunscreen honestly speaking um, yeah I would say this is quite a, a good coverage I, I don't think it gets as much as the Estee Lauder I would say is quite similar to, to this one in coverage but I really like this one and this is literally the perfect color for my skin tone so if I'm going to go for a super natural look this is really good and I don't mind the extra sunscreen of course you shouldn't rely on your base makeup for sunscreen but a little bit extra is always nice even more so when you have some sort of hyperpigmentation it's always nice to have more and more sunscreen and you know um yeah I, I i find that this is really literally my perfect color sometimes finding my tone as i have mentioned before is super hard and i have to balance things out with the bronzer and the contouring and all of that but this looks like my skin tone like a really pale olive skin tone that's how it looks like a pale olive because sometimes i find olives but they are too deep so too 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 deep in in the range so i think this is really good if you have skin like mine and i really really like this and it was a really nice price and honestly speaking if i was wearing makeup as much as i used to i probably will have finished all of these bottles in this year and it's the only ones will have like my will be like my special occasion or I just feel like using kind of a deal because of course um, you have to use your makeup even more when it comes to base products because they go bad if you don't use them so just keep that in mind but um, I do really 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 like my collection at the moment and I have other ones which I really really like but at the moment those are my favorites so next is going to be two concealers um, all of them are kind of high end uh, the first is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I have two colors um, I normally use these to do the highlighting and all of that so I really like them you get a lot of product sometimes you find that you waste a tiny bit because you, you know it has a pump so you have to be a little mindful of that but they last a really long long time um, better for normal to oily skin you can have dry skin and use this but um, these do dry down they are not luminous um, they just dry and set. They are not a drying formula, but they do set. So if you have super dry skin, maybe not it. But that's why kind of I like them. They have really good coverage. And if you are doing highlighting with this, the highlighting is going to stay where you put it. When it comes to highlighting and creating a structure, shadow, dimension, highlighting, um, I really like to be precise with things so I like when things actually set even though I have normal to dry skin I have no problem using these ones I really 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 like them and I think you should totally give them a try other one which I love is the NARS soft matte complete concealer I will try to link everything down below I really like this for the darkest part of, of my and the eye I really like this for, for breakouts and I really like this for any mark or where it's more like a precise per se thing you want to do because this has pigmentation this has quite a bit of pigmentation and and this is a really good color for me like good skin color like no highlighter or anything this is custard and I really like this. Um, I would say that it works really, really nice. If you have normal to oily skin, totally give it a try. 
even normal to dry skin will be fine because it's a soft matte if you're on the extremes like super oil or super um, dry might be not the best but I like that this tossing move it sets but it's a comfortable look on the skin it doesn't look too dry and if you have any dry patch or maybe you have a little bit of a breakout but it's a little bit dry you know because of because of the, the skincare you put it works really well on top of that so yeah totally give this a try i really really like um the nars concealers so moving on from that i have to mention my favorite blushes because this year was the year for cream blushes for me so well I have three options for you. The first one, which is a little bit difficult to find, but if you can find it, totally get it, is the e.l.f. You get four colors, all of them are super pretty, and you get an amazing product at a really good, nice price. They're amazing. If you, even if you have oily skin, you might get away with, with using this. They look super, super, super pretty. Of course, all of these ones, if you have oily skin, you can put a little bit of powder and you will be totally fine. But I have had oily skin, so I know that maybe you won't love the idea of that. But yeah, so if you have oily skin, yeah, if you have dry skin, totally they will work just fine. It's just that this is the most dry formula of all of them. Saying that though, none of these formulas are really dry, but this is the most non glowy one, if you will. So I totally, totally, totally love this, and I use this a lot like, a lot, a lot. I used to be obsessed by this, I still use this. I will wear this on my eyes, on my cheeks, I will do Kind of like a watercolor kind of a deal i would connect my blush with my eyes and just put a little bit of mascara and the eyebrows and lipstick and that was it it's just a really pretty you know palette really nice quality and the next favorite one is the honest beauty ones i have three different colors I love all of them. I love Peony Pink, which is the one that I'm wearing at the moment. Uh, and by the way, I'm using this foundation and the two different concealers. Um, these I love too. I know it can look a little bit intimidating in here, but oh, it looks so pretty. It looks so damn pretty. If you like those burgundy deep colors, this, oh my god, looks amazing. With just a tiny bit of this on the lips and the cheeks, it's just, even in the eyes, this looks so pretty. This gives me winter vibes so much. So, so, so pretty. Even with a brown lipstick or something like that. Um, other color which I really like is Coral Peach, which is a little bit more orangey and probably will get more wet out of this in summer, but these are really, really pretty. These are a little bit more emollient, if you will, but they're fine, if, even if you have oily skin. It's just how you prep your skin, how they will work. Um, but they're really really pretty and they make your cheeks look super juicy if you have a, a really glowing skin. Other ones that I love is the cream Fenty Beauty ones. Saying that though, uh, well, they're quite small and they're quite emollient and I actually like this summer wine one the most this one though looks really good in the lips on the cheeks whatever you want to put this this looks really 
glowy and it has a lot of pigmentation and I really like this color and I actually love to use this with with something like this because it actually really shares out and and gives this water painting color kind of a texture where you can see the translucency of it but the color on it is just really pretty um, and they work really pretty on the lips so that's why I really like this one and it's quite of a different formulation from the other two but I'm not in love with this one I mean I think it looks pretty a little bit too sheer like maybe if you like this kind of color but personally I think when it comes to these Fenty formulas you have to try the color because I can tell that this doesn't have nearly as much uh, pigmentation as this does because this literally is super pigmented like can you see the difference of that but they're pretty just letting you know about that I wanted to tell you that there was a slight difference of pigmentation between some colors and then I would show my favorite bronzer I'm not really a bronzer kind of a person I find really difficult to find a good bronzer because of my coloring and because I have mentioned I don't have a lot of red on my skin and I think I found the one. I actually bought this because of the highlighters and they're pretty but on person I think they look like a little bit too much glitter like tiny glitters and it's just not my cup of tea like they look really pretty on camera and on pictures but in person I can tell the tiny glitters like I'm just speaking that way so they're not my favorites like maybe on top of another highlighter just in certain parts or in the eyes um, they look really pretty but on their own not my favorite ones at least no the uh, highlighters um, but I really 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 like the bronzer super super pretty and yeah to me it's totally worth it I didn't buy this for the bronzer color at all but I was pleasantly surprised by it I really like this and if you're not as picky as I am this probably would be just amazing because I have seen tons of other artists, makeup artists use this and I think it looks really pretty but I like my makeup to look really good on camera but really good on person too so that's a personal preference where I just can see the tiny glitters there so I really like this so the powders that I loved this year were the Maybelline Fit Me and the CoverGirl Advanced Radiance this looks really pretty under the eyes and it gives a tiny bit more of coverage and really brightens the look I really like this, I will link it down below and super super good I like this one too really nice price to really find only melt um, I have nothing wrong to say about this and other one which I love and adore but I don't get to use as much uh, is the Charlotte Tilbury one if you can get this get it uh, I have the number two I'm almost done with it is I love it so much um, it's just really a really good product best for normal to a little bit dry skin if you have oily skin you can totally use this but it won't do anything when it comes to keeping your face matte or controlling your oil but it makes your skin look super pretty um, the only thing why I don't like this is because Charlotte Tilbury doesn't well they do now ship to Mexico but customs here are terrible customs here they're not joke they don't only charge you like a kidney sometimes a lot of times things get stolen sometimes things get lost quite frequently it has happened 
to me several times. So, um, yeah, not a nice thing to feel. And as it is, it's a, you know, really expensive product. So I normally, like if I was going to travel, which I'm not going to do anytime soon, uh, or anyone could get me this, um, I would totally, you know, tell them to buy me one. And honestly, I would, this is like the number two is perfect for my face, but not for the center of my face because I highlight quite a bit. So if I use the number two here, it would be too dark. I would have to get number one. Just letting you know, it's a really, really nice product. It's just really hard for me to use. And I just, I'm going to finish it and I'm going to try to get a new one. But uh, I really, really like this product. It's just that this, it's kind of sad that I cannot get it here in Mexico from a, from a store from here or a good retailer or, you know, Amazon or something like that. Let's move to eye palettes. I have one which is a little bit controversial, but I have to mention it. Is the Jawbreaker. I think this year, 2021, is going to be really big on pastel colors. A lot of colorful pastel colors and if you haven't noticed, I have been on that thought and that feeling since 2020. Most of my makeup looks were really colorful and pastel-like. So a lot of those ones came from here. Um, yeah, I mean, this is not the best palette if you don't have the neutrals. But these colors are just difficult to find in any other palette. I know that... Jeffrey's super controversial, but talking about just the product, they are really nice. They are really pigmented. They blend super, super nicely. I wish I could give you another recommendation of another palette with similar colors, but I haven't tried any other one that was nearly as good. So just letting you know about that. Other palette which I was blown away by the beginning of 2020 was the, the Tati Beauty and if you like more of a neutral look and if you are new to makeup and you don't have a lot of different makeup palettes and eye makeup products you might want to give this a try because this is a really pretty palette. They're pretty wearable colors. And what I really like most about this palette is that it has so many finishes, like the mattes, the ones who have a tiny bit of sparkle, this hair you can see, matte, sequin, metallic, and glitter. And that's a lot. Every single one of these shades is really pretty. Every single time that I have used this palette, it has been so easy and I always end up with a really pretty look. It's pigmented enough where it totally shows it's a good pigmentation, but it doesn't have so much pigmentation that it gets patchy or weird or is too much like some other palettes can be. It's just a really beginning friendly palette and even more so if you are, you know, wanting to play with makeup and you don't know if you like more of a natural thing or more of a, you know, really going out like glitter kind of a deal, this is a really good palette to try and yeah, I, I hope she comes out with more of this kind of palettes but in just different colors I think it will be really nice if I get to see I don't know blues and pastels pastel and pink and green and pistachio and yellow and just more of a colorful look but in these textures I think they're super pretty they just blend really really well they are really good quality really nice pigmentations, I have no problems with customs and that's saying a lot um, 
So yeah, I really like this palette. I want to mention other palettes that I really, really loved and used this year. This is the Natasha Denona palette, the cranberry palette. And although I do not like at all the matte shades here, the glitter ones are so pretty. They look so soft, yet really potent. They are the kind of eyeshadow that it looks a little bit wet and uh, it's just so finely milled and it's just so pretty. It never looks too much. It never looks too heavy. Um, it just looks like, wow, so pretty. And I got quite a bit of use uh, this year of this palette. Um, so I do not recommend at all these mattes. They're just bad. But this really pretty purple shadow, so pretty. This is orangey, but it has a slightly um, gold but pink tone with it. It's so pretty. So, 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 so pretty. And this silver one is just silver, but it has a little bit of champagne on it. It's just so pretty and it's the perfect soft glam glitter for me. It's just so pretty. I have a look with it. I will try to, you know, link down below some of the looks with this palette because it's so, so pretty. So if we're going to talk about just one shadow, kind of like a pot shadow or that kind of a thing. Um, still, my favorite to do kind of cut crease with glitter is the Stila in Kitten Karma. Super pretty, super easy to use. It's like glitter with glue, so it just sticks there and doesn't move. And I really like this. If you're new to glitter, maybe you don't want to buy a palette, um, but you like to do the cut crease kind of a deal. Uh, this is this looks really pretty and super easy to use and yeah. Other thing that I wanted to mention, this is a classic, not new to me. I have been in love with this for years. Uh, this is the soft and gentle. I had to mention this because this is what I use most of the time. I find that this never looks too much. It always looks like wet skin, pretty, pretty on person, pretty on camera. It's just really pretty and can be quite potent and and what i like most about this is that it's the perfect tone for my skin tone so it's not too gold it's not too silver it's just like a white gold like a champagne kind of color well i would say that champagne might be too warm it's just it has a little bit of mix it, it just looks beautiful honestly speaking it looks beautiful when you're wearing really colorful eye makeup looks um you want something i mean i still want my my highlight but i don't want it to be metallic or too much where it steals the show because otherwise you can look a little bit clownish in my opinion so i really like this super super pretty okay moving on i totally forgot to mention this in the blush category this is peach twist i'm pretty sure i have a makeup look with this it looks really pretty it's like peachy but it has a little bit of pink it has a little bit of red it's shiny it's just really pretty it just looks so juicy on the skin so totally give this one a go i actually got that one as a gift with purchase in max so you know look at me i got something that i actually fall in love with for free and well now i want to talk about a few brushes that i just fell in love with first cop on d they were having a sale so i got a few more brushes from them and well from sephora and they're amazing, they're really good, they feel super soft I feel like 
the shape of them is really good. I use these to, you know, put blush when I am using something with quite a bit of pigmentation or when I want a really diffused look. It's so pretty. I might get a second one just to use for powder overall. It's really, really, really pretty. Um, and I love this one for just liner. I use this for the liner here and I don't use a pot liner for the for the black liner but I always find myself using this for you know details even when cleaning things I just put a little bit of um, makeup remover and I just make things really sharp because it's super precise and from Makeup Forever I have two I love this powder brush I think when you want one more coverage painting really does helps of course later on making sure everything is well pushed into the skin with um, a sponge or something like that is helpful but letting cook the makeup just um, as much as you can can be helpful I really like this puddle um, brush I find that makeup forever has really good quality brushes and I fell in love with this tiny one I will try to find it but it's super good to diffuse lines and be more detail focused in the crease it's super super nice and because I fell in love with that one I got um, a few more of detail brushes so this one is from Fenty and it's actually really good for super details it doesn't look like it but it really comes into a tiny 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 point and you can literally make kind of like good creases kind of a deal so this is really good for that and well I have two other brands which are a little bit more cheap this is the dog color one and I have tons of these brushes because I got them in a set and they were super affordable and they are really nice quality um, they are really really nice and I use I, and I have used most of them so you know when I wanna play with tons of colors and I need to use different brushes or really be precise with different things I play with all of them but just really nice other one that I fell in love with is Morphe this is the M330 um, so nice this is like the small version of the um, I don't even know what number is this I think is this of the MAC 224 I think and this is more detail and it still gives a really soft look um, I love this one and this is the first Morphe that I try and actually I'm really surprised of how it has such a good quality it's comparable to the MAC one um, just letting you know I would say that you know the Morphe ones are cheaper and they're I would say kind of same quality as far as I can tell at the moment because I don't know how long they will last because I have had this for years but um, I have been really liking those ones okay let's talk about a few liners I think I mentioned these ones and in a, in a video I got tons of different you know colors of this brand this is Magic Mabel I would try to link this down below these are super cheap they come in so many colors and you know as something that I'm not going to probably finish and um, yeah I, I think they're just really nice for the price um, other ones that I have heard are really good are the Colourpop personally I haven't tried them but um, if you can find these ones and you like this kind of or you want to give a try to more graphic looks these work really well and 
you know, they're super, like, super cheap. Like, Colourpop compared to this is expensive. So um, maybe give this a try. I got them in so many colors. I have had a lot of fun with them. I cannot say that they are the best quality because sometimes certain colors are more pigmented than others and sometimes they're a little bit runny and sometimes they're just right. Um, but for the price, they are worth the trouble. Like they're so, so cheap and they don't irritate your eyes or anything but well personally i haven't found any problems when it comes to these being irritating in the eye and um, other eyeliners that i want to mention is the makeup forever artist color pencil in all around white and the anywhere caffeine um because I have been doing a lot of more pastels. I don't want to do a brown lipstick with those. So I found the perfect color for that. Because this is brown. It's neutral. It gives depth and definition to the lips. But it's not so dark that um, it throws away the pink lipstick or something like that. So... I have been really liking these ones and you can use them in the lips, in the eyes, pretty much everywhere. So I want to try a few more of these ones. And my Marc Jacobs ones still going strong. I use this in the waterline and they're just fantastic. But uh, yeah, moving on. I have to mention this for sure. This is the Chowder Tilbury Walk of Shame. I love this color. It's that color i'm almost done with it i don't want to use it because i don't know when i can get a new one but it's so pretty oh my god it's so so pretty and other ones that i want to mention is these ysl lip tattoos these are really really good if you want something that is really long lasting and leaves a color behind i have talked about this before they are so pretty um these have quite a bit of pigmentation though and they transfer a tiny bit they're not the same as a liquid lipstick they're li like a liquid lipstick but with a stain like they're like a stain if you like something with a little bit less pigmentation i would say give a try to the dior one i will try to link that one below but I like these ones better because they are more pigmented. Um, but I really like these ones. We are almost done. I just want to mention just a few things and then we're done. Okay, um, first this MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash is what I have in my, my lower lashes. This is amazing. They give you super long lashes. I wouldn't use this on top. Well, I don't have really long top lashes. I have decent bottom lashes, but no matter who you use this, this is a tubing mascara. They make your lashes look amazing. And this is the best mascara that I have ever tried, at least in the bottom part. Uh, and overall, but I haven't tried it on top, so I cannot tell you about that. Um, I never think top mascaras do anything because I don't have really good lashes, so... I always end up putting some eyelashes. And talking about lashes, I love these ones. They're cheap, they're pretty, the band is super thin. This is the kiss ever, ever as lashes. I will try to link this down below. I get this one from Amazon and I love them. These are the number 11 and I love them. Um, what else? Last but not least, I have to mention this curling. Um, these are makeup removers, towels. I don't use this to take off my makeup. I use this to clean the makeup and clean the swatches and clean all of that. It works really well. It's pretty much micellar water, um, 
Sometimes when I have heavy glitter in my eyes, I will remove the glitter with this because otherwise the glitter can get everywhere on the face. That's quite messy and if it gets into your eye, it can be dangerous and all of that. So that's the only ways that I use this, but I actually quite like them. Um, and I found them, you know, really nice and, and good. So I wanted to mention that. And because I'm aware that this video got like super long, I'm going to make a separate video talking about my hair favorites and the other random favorites. Because otherwise, no one is going to want to watch this, you know? So hopefully that was helpful and useful to you. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share, and without anything more to say, I hope you'll have a good day. Bye.